Hello guys, Northwest Trees here. Today I'm going to explain how to report bugs uh, for your M Creator mod if you run into issues and some steps that you can take that will hopefully resolve the issue without needing to um, make a bug report. The first thing that you can try to do is regenerate the code and sometimes the code uh, gets a little bit outdated or doesn't work properly and sometimes you can press this little orange icon right up here uh, next to the build button. This is the orange button right here is for regenerating the code. You can just click that and it will regenerate everything and um, it has a chance of fixing some issues in your mod itself. It's not a, always going to fix everything but it might fix uh, some common issues and uh, it basically just re-generates um, all the code and stuff like that. Now, it won't work if your elements are unlocked, so you will have to make sure that your elements are locked for it to work if it's a um, element that, uh, per se, that you've um, needed to um, unlock to change the code. You can leave it unlocked, but if you're not having any problems with it, but just keep in mind that it won't affect the um, the code when you regenerate it. The other thing that you can try to do, uh, it's recommended that you do this before you open up a bug report, just because it takes up a lot of uh, resources for M Creator um, developers to actually sort through the bug reports, is trying to solve the issue yourself. Uh, you can do this by uh, three main tactics. Uh, the first thing that would be is to check existing um, open ticks, check the uh, knowledge base, and uh, do a quick search on the forms. So uh, to get to the knowledge base, this is the M Creator main page. You want to go to support and then here you can check the knowledge base. You can check the issue tracker. And if you want to check the forms, then if you go to community, um, there is a direct link to the forms on there. So you can actually do a quick search uh, through the modifications forms wiki. And, um, you know, it's just uh, a little bit easier. You can also click on the forms page here and it will bring you to the forms. Uh, some of the topics that I would suggest checking are the um, help with uh, M Creator software, um, user side tutorials, and uh, these uh, two right here as well. So hopefully that, if that still doesn't solve your issue then you might want to try to start gathering the required things to actually make a bug report. To make a bug report what you're going to need to do is actually get your Forge version and M Creator version. Your M Creator version is listed up at the top on the actual um, window bar right up here so you can see that it says 2020.2 that's the version of M Creator I am on so it's 2020.2 and to get the forge version what you can do is go to um, what one was it it was the workspace and the workspace settings and then what you can do is look under um, Minecraft version generator and right here it will say Minecraft Forge 4 and then the version of Minecraft and the build of the Forge version. So make sure you include that in your bug report as well, as well as the version that of M Creator that you're working on. The next thing that we need to do is actually isolate our workspace. Uh, the easiest way to do that is to grab the files and procedures and stuff that we've used um, for the problematic um, problematic uh, actual element. So say the um, plant here was becoming an issue, there might be some procedures or something attached to that. So you would grab the procedures uh, to do that. You would, um, if it lets me actually open this, there we go. 
you can export the procedure by clicking on this and then typing in a name and then using it in a second workspace that is an isolated workspace just for the issues. Reason for this is it's easier for the developers to figure out the issue if there isn't a whole bunch of other things going on in the code um, and bug reports and things being run and stuff like that. So you wanna make sure that your workspace is just specific for those issues that you're having. Um, it just helps speed up the uh, basically the time to figure out the issue and uh, easier for the developers to sort through the, the log files and stuff like that. So the first thing that you're actually going to do in your isolated workspace is actually run the game. And then what you're going to want to do is try to create the problem that is causing the actual mod. So just copying the files might not always um, make sure that the problem, like it doesn't always happen if the problem, it could be a mod related problem, some type of conflict in your mod itself. So if you isolate the workspace, there's a chance that it'll be working fine. So just make sure to test it, try to reproduce the bug. And if you know it, notice anything that it, um, extra details like, if you're doing a, something in a very specific way or um, something happens with your procedure that you know it works with a different way or something like that, then um, try to get it to run the code and happen in the isolated workspace. So it will happen in the log file itself. So after you've done that, just close out of the game and then what you can do is go to your uh, workspace folder which is uh, under workspaces workspace folder and then what you can do is go to uh, let's see here dot m creator logs uh, there should be a logs file here somewhere there isn't though um, sorry my bad um, you actually have to go to your user account and then your dot mine m creator folder and then what you want to do is go to logs and then grab the m creator um, txt file up here uh, this should be a log file maybe I think it's log property yeah it's a dot log file so you want to copy that and make sure you include that into your um, actual uh, workspace and everything like that that you're basically going to be including. So the next thing that you're going to need to do is export your uh, workspace. So what you need to do for that is go to here and or pardon me here file and then you go down to uh, export uh, shareable zip and then you type in your name. Um, I would suggest just naming it workspace and then sending it to the main desktop, like right here. So I'm just gonna delete this one if I can. Nope, I can't. So I'm just gonna overwrite that. Uh, generally, you don't wanna overwrite things, but uh, for this case, for the tutorial, I just wanna update it. And then you wanna include these two in its own zip. So what you can do is just select it if you're on Windows and uh, send to and then compress zip folder and then it's going to create a zip folder for your workspace and um, log file to double check to see if it's actually in there just open it and you can see the files inside of it so we know that the file has been added and the workspace the next thing that you need to do is go to the issue tracker and you need to um, open a issue, uh, open a new issue. And given that you've already searched to see if there's been a previous issue, this should be fine. I've already posted one not too long ago. Fill out the title that is something that is uh, related to your issue itself. Uh, don't just ask for help or anything that doesn't really relate to the thing. This is what people are gonna be seeing when they're searching for issues and stuff like that. So try to make it uh, very um, describe basically in a short pair, like short title that what the issue is and um, 
you know, just what kind of, usually if you include the Forge version and the M Creator version on the title, it would help a lot too. And uh, make sure it's a bug report and then your platform and your M Creator version as well. The next step is to basically create your body of your issue, describe what you were doing at the time of the crash or at the when the issue is occurring. If you notice anything that is very uh, specific to causing the issue or any extra details you can provide from observing what the actual um, issue you're having, uh, when it happens, how it happens, and why it happens, all those, you know, use like as much detail as you can, be very observant of what's the issue and try to provide as much information for the developers so they can figure out what's going on. Um, usually giving a point form of the steps that you took would help very much um, to reproduce the issue as well. And then down here, um, just include the workspace.zip and then submit your issue. The last thing that I can't stress enough is make sure that you are um, you keep coming back to the issue. And uh, to do that, if you just go back to the issue tracker, if we just go back one, if you click on my issues right up here, and uh, all the issues that you've submitted, including feature requests, will be in this list here. Uh, you can basically um, keep up to date with the issues by just clicking on it. Check to see if the developer has posted anything. You might need to um, you know, reply to them or anything like that, provide more information if needed. And it's just really important to keep up to date with uh, what the conversations going on and stuff as well. So other than that, uh, that's basically the quick kind of tutorial that I have for you today for uh, submitting bug reports and trying to troubleshoot your issues. Uh, hopefully you guys found today's video uh, useful. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.